of countries such as Cuba, Nicaragua, Venezuela, while they include governments like El Salvador and Haiti. People Summit! People Power! 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 Who's streets? Our streets! Who's streets? Our streets! Who's streets? Our streets! Who's streets? Our streets! I'm here on the Los Angeles Bay Tech campus. This was a city that was founded by black and brown migrants to this land after, because of, colonization. So we should never forget the struggle of los migrantes, the folks who came here like my family and I'm sure a Kenya's many, many years ago. We, the people, came here in the defense of our democracy, in the defense of justice, and we will not tolerate any disruption not from cops, but also not from folks that are trying to make this an unsafe space. We need self-determination. We need people power to run our government. That is how our people will live well. They can live well. We have examples of that. We must be able to shift these dynamics of power and of oppression to allow people to have dignified lives in their own countries. We're here today. We come from the People's Summit for Democracy here to the Convention Center with a very, very clear, simple, straightforward message. The Biden administration cannot arrogate to itself, cannot believe that it can exclude Cuba and exclude Venezuela and exclude Nicaragua and pretend that they are having a summit of the Americas. This, in fact, is a summit of the imperialists and their stooges. And we're here today to say and demand that which is the demand of the majority of people in this hemisphere. And we're here today because working class and poor people in the United States have a hundred times more in common with the people of Cuba and their government, a hundred times more in common with Venezuela and its government than we do with the Wall Street bankers and capitalists who pretend to speak in our name. That's why we're here. We're here because we demand, not someday, but today, that Cuba be allowed to live. The greatest terrorist, the greatest terrorist, the biggest terrorist in the world today is the United States and the CIA. You represent the people of the United States who have said over and over they want the end of the 